May the grace and love of God be with us today and always, dear listeners of Faith Journey. As we gather here tonight, I invite you each to find a quiet place, perhaps dim the lights and prepare your hearts for a time of deep reflection and connection with the divine. I'm here too, praying and reflecting with you. Tonight, we address a common challenge that many face insomnia. It's a struggle that can touch anyone, impacting our ability to rest and function effectively in our daily lives. In a moment, we will enter into a powerful prayer, seeking comfort and peace from the Almighty, that those suffering from sleepless nights may find rest and tranquility, waking refreshed and ready to face a new day with strength and joy. As we journey through life, we face countless battles, both visible and invisible. And amidst these fights, we need a protection that goes beyond the tangible. Psalm 23 offers us exactly that. Just like a warrior shields himself on the battlefronts, this verse serves as a spiritual shield for those who place their trust and faith in God. In it, we find not just protection, but also fortitude. We are reminded that even in the face of the greatest adversities, there is a higher power sustaining us and a greater purpose being drawn. And more than just protection, Psalm 23 reaffirms us in the glorious divine promise of salvation, assuring us that in the end, victory is already ours. Amen. Psalm 23 will protect and comfort our hearts. Let's pray together. Dear listeners, as we continue in this spirit of prayer and community, I invite you all to leave the names of your family members, friends, or even your own prayers in the comments below. Together as a united family in faith, we will present them all to God, lifting each name and each request before Him. And if this content touches your heart, please do leave your like, subscribe to Faith Journey, and turn on notifications. We are growing as a big prayer family here and your engagement truly helps spread hope and encouragement far and wide. God bless you abundantly. Now I'd like to ask Elias to read Psalm 23 for us. Elias, please lead us through this powerful scripture. Thank you, Lucas. My dear listeners, as I read through this cherished Psalm, I would like you to pray along with me, either repeating the words or in your mind, so that you can claim all the promises contained in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for You are with me. Your rod and Your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Wow, how comforting it is to hear this prayer, how it touches our hearts. I always get emotional and very happy when I read this prayer. It is a power that emanates from God and strengthens us and gives us hope in this early morning. I encourage each of you listening to send this prayer to your family and friends. How many right now are in need of the blessings contained in Psalm 23? For every 10 people you share with, you can be sure that at least one of them will be touched and will convert to the Word of God, while others will have blessings poured out and their lives will be transformed. Let's spread the Word and share the comfort and guidance that comes from this powerful psalm. If you listen to this prayer for seven days, it will be magnificent. Seven is God's number. It's the number of perfection. Let this powerful psalm resonate in your life throughout the week and see the transformation it brings. Keep this word close and let it guide you day by day. I have a direction for you. Listen to this prayer every day before you go to bed throughout the week. It will be a blessing in your life. Let the words marinate in your spirit as you rest and allow the peace and strength of the Lord to renew you each night. All the blessings contained in Psalm 23 are now upon you, your house, and your family. God bless you abundantly. May His grace and mercy follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As we close this moment of reflection, I extend a blessing upon each of you. 
For those who are battling insomnia or need to work or study through the night, may you have a peaceful sleep and may God bless you abundantly. Remember, those who are keeping a prayer vigil, your dedication is seen and you will be rewarded one day. Thank you for joining us on Faith Journey. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our nightly prayers. God bless you abundantly, and until the next prayer, may His peace be with you.